What's good, TBD fam? It's your guy, Fit Takeover Seven, back with another video to help y'all start your journey towards generational wealth. I have two requests for y'all. Subscribe to the channel and like the video, please. I'll wait. Now that we got it out the way. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. I am not a fiduciary. Everything that I say in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you need financial advice, please contact a financial advisor. Financial advice, financial advisor. All right, now that we got that out the way. Somebody asked me the other day, they was like, hey, hey Ty, can you explain strike price, in the money, out the money, and expiration dates for contracts? And I was like, sure, I got you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, and share my screen. Before I get into that, I'm let y'all know, if y'all have any questions, any questions at all, please contact your boy and I'll be sure to do a video for y'all to explain everything. All right. So strike price. The strike price is the set price at which a derivative contract can be bought or sold when it's exercised. What does that mean? A strike price is the price at which you believe the stock price is going to reach. Stock price is at $100. You believe it's going to increase up to $110. You have a strike price of $110. Stock price is at $100. You believe that stock is going to continue to go up in price. You have a strike price of $110 you believe it's going to strike that price. All right? In the money. In the money is an expression that refers to an option that possesses intrinsic value. What does that mean? All that is saying is that you have a stock in question that we're looking at. It's $100. For call, this is for call options now. You have a stock in question that's $100. You had a strike price of $90, right? So if we're going to do an in the money call option, it's met $90, it's past $90, it's now at $100. That $90 call option is in the money and it already theoretically has value in it because it's already been met. It's already been passed and it's gonna keep on going. So today, the stock in question is a hundred bucks. We're gonna get a in the money call option for $90, okay? Out the money. Out the money is an expression used to describe an options contract that only contains extrinsic value. Out the money, all that is saying is that you have a stock price that is $100. You have a strike price that has not been met yet. It's in the future. It's down the road. It's $10 away. It's $20 away. You, it's, a, it's a strike price that has not been met yet that you're still trying to strike, okay? So in out the money strike price is you have a stock price that's a hundred dollars and out the money strike price is hundred and ten dollars you have a stock price that's a hundred dollars and out the money strike price is a hundred and thirty dollars okay it has not been met yet there's no value already in it okay expiration date an expiration date in derivatives is the last day that derivative contracts such as options or futures are valid. What does that mean? All that is saying is that an expiration date is the date that the actual contract in question expires. That's it. All right, so those were the four terms that uh, I was asked to explain. I'm gonna give y'all one little gem before I leave out of here. It's not my gem, really. It's Mark Monroe's gem. If you know Mark Monroe, like the video, please. 
If you heard of Mark Monroe, like the video, please. If you know Mark Monroe or heard of Mark Monroe, and I'm talking about Mark Monroe right now, send this video to him and like the video, please. All right, so Mark Monroe came up with this good little uh, calculation formula for determining what's a good strike price for a contract, okay? Remember, please, I am not a financial advisor. I am not a fiduciary. He is not a financial advisor. He is not a fiduciary. If you need financial advice, please contact a financial advisor. Financial advice, financial advisor. This formula right now is literally just a tip to help you figure out what a good strike price would be for an options contract. Okay? So what he came up with is he said, he was like, all right, so if I want to do a two-year options contract, how do I determine what a good strike price would be for that contract? So what he determined was, he said, I'll go down to, I'll go to bar chart. I'll go down to the price performance. I'll look at the performance over the two-year time span. I'll take that number and I'll divide it by 1.5. Okay, then take that number that you got and then you'll multiply it by one for a 10% correction or multiply it by 0 0.05 for 5% correction. That'll give you a number. You take that number that you just, that you got right there and minus the number that you got when you did your 148 divided by 1.5, you're going to get another number you're going to take that final number and you're going to add it to the actual stock price and you're going to get your strike price for a two-year contract i'm gonna run it back you're going to take 148.56 i'm getting my phone right you're going to take 148.56 and you're gonna pull up your calculator. So 148, divide that by 1.5, and you're gonna get 98.6 in a few extra numbers. Let's just say 99. So you're gonna get a number that's 99. You're gonna take 99, and you're gonna multiply that by 0.1 or 0.05. Just for this, we're going to do 0.1. You get 9.9, .9, okay? Let's round it up to 10. So you're going to take 99, and you're going to minus 10. You get 89. Now you're going to take 89, and you're going to add that to the actual stock price. And the actual stock price of this stock is... 223.41 plus 223.41 and you get a strike price of $312. Okay? That's simple. That man's a genius. He's the guy. That's the Dark Knight. Like I said, if you know him or you like this formula, please like the video. Please subscribe. I'm going to put his, uh, the link to the come up series in the description. So y'all can actually go to uh, that video and watch him explain it. You can actually continue to watch the come up series because he be dropping gems left and right. All right. So that's all I have for you today. Glad y'all came out and y'all watched me. If y'all have any other questions, please get at your boy. Y'all have a good rest of your weekend. Stay safe. Stay blessed. And I'll get at you next time. I'm out.